What's up and welcome to the channel. My name is Hexshot and thank you for joining us. Today we're going to do a little experiment with the MMP Shield 9 EZ and the original Shield. And we're going to see if the Shield EZ, uh, how much easier, if any easier it is to use uh, compared to the original Shield. But that, because that's the whole point of this gun. It's supposed to be easier. Uh, so I'm thinking to myself, I, I can obviously show you all, you know, range footage and show you you know, what the recoil is like and all that good stuff. But how am I going to show you how much easier it is to pull this slide back? And I figured it out. So I, I bought this fish scale right here. It opens up just wide enough like that. So I can actually spread those, uh, these little clamps out a little bit. I have pieces of tape on the uh, on the slide serration so it doesn't mar it up because I actually tried it without that and it marred it up a little bit but that's okay so that's how I'm gonna actually test the pounds that it takes to pull the slide back but first we're gonna show the range footage uh, which is a uh, you know which it, hopefully it will convey over footage you know how much easier if any it is to shoot the EZ uh, really quick I would like to thank our patron of the week Josh, who is a brand new uh, patron, I just want to uh, uh, thank him for coming on board and uh, the uh, the new people that you see on screen here. These are new patrons, and then uh, and then the patrons you see right after this are five dollar and up patrons. So we thank all of our patrons. Uh, if you'd like to join us, of course, you know the link is down in the description. If you don't want to join or you can't join and you want to become a subscriber here uh, or you're already subscribed, whatever capacity. You support us, in, man. We really appreciate y'all, and uh, we're getting there. We're getting to a hundred thousand, and I cannot wait. Uh, it's been a long journey, and I really appreciate every person that has helped us get to this point. So, thank you, thank you, thank you, and don't forget, Sportsman's Guide. You still have twenty bucks just sitting out there. Use our discount code HEGSHOT87. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with the range footage. So let's go there. I'll show you how that did, and then when we come back, we'll talk about the range footage, and then uh, we'll do the uh, we'll do the pound test right after that. What's up, and welcome to the channel. My name is HEGSHOT, and thank you for joining us. Today, we're going to do a quick comparison with the Shield 9 EZ and the regular Shield, show you the recoil, uh, the difference between the two, uh, so your recoil management and how easy it is to pull the slide back uh, compared to each other. So let's take a look at the table, what we got here. We have our original shield. Uh, this is not the M2.0 version at all. This is the very original one. And then we have the M2.0 shield EZ. All right, eight round mag for the EZ and seven round mag standard for the regular shield. Of course, the Shield EZ has some other features and stuff that this one does not. But what we're really focused on is how easy it is to pull back the slide and how easy it is to manage the recoil, this one, compared to the original. So let's load them up, and then we'll take some shots, and then we'll talk about the, uh, the slides. All right, the Shield 9 EZ first.
All right, so hopefully I was able to convey uh, the, the Shield EZ shooting and the original Shield. I feel like in the video, it doesn't look like there's that much of a difference. Sometimes you'll see the shield move, uh, the the recoil, the muzzle flip, I should say, uh, is a little more pronounced than the original shield. But the specs are really close. So if we're just talking about the Shield EZ uh, 3.6 inch barrel to a 3.1 inch barrel length, overall length is 6.8, 6.1 on the original shield. Uh, the weight 23.2 ounces unloaded, and then you have like 20.2 ounces unloaded on the original shield. Uh, five inches in overall height and four and a half uh, inches in height with the standard base magazine. Uh, really, what you're going to notice is that with the Shield EZ, you can pretty much get, or at least I can, I can get all my digits on this firearm and any gun that you can get all of your digits on, you're going to be a little bit more accurate with it. It's going to be a little bit easier to shoot naturally just because you have full control. Not saying that you can't shoot guns like this or even smaller than this. Well, it's just going to lead to a better, con better control all the way around. And plus they did, they did a really nice job on this grip texturing. So it's not overly aggressive it's got the perfect balance there of aggressiveness and just just being a great grip texture so the shield easy definitely has some features and its size helps it to be a better shooter how much better is it worth that half inch to you uh, if we just take them like this so the shield easy has eight rounds the original shield and even the updated shield with the standard base plate has seven rounds so you got a half of an inch. Of course, that is going to make the difference when you're carrying IWB. That's what you're trying to conceal right there. All right. So uh, naturally the shield at the range or the shield EZ is going to be a little bit easier to shoot. And I think the muzzle flip and the, uh, the felt recoil is a little bit less because the gun, like I said, is a little bit bigger. Now let's try this experimentation and see how much force it takes pound wise to get this slide to go back because that's one of the benefits of this gun it's an internal hammer fired gun compared to a striker fired so this gun right off the rip is supposed to be at least five pounds lighter uh, pull needed to actually get this slide to come back so let's try that out real quick so we're going to start with the original shield here and the idea is we want to pull that slide back just to the point where it would pick up that round, chamber the round, and that's it. All right, we want to see how much how much pounds of force, how many pounds of force uh, this will take to do. Again, this is nothing scientific. I'm holding a freaking fish scale, you know. So, but hopefully this will give you an idea of, of you know the difference here. So let's try it out. We're at zero. If you see me press this, that'll actually zero it back out, or it should. So we're at zero here. Let's make sure we start at zero. And I'm just going to pull it a few times just to give you an idea. All right. Look like 22, 19, 19. The last little bit of the shield actually is going to be where you get a couple of more pounds. But it's consistently in the 19 to 20, 22 pounds. It's quite a bit. Now let's try the Shield EZ and see what that looks like. Again, I, I seen this fish scale and I was like, man, this is actually pretty, pretty good idea. All right, zero it out. I think that was 13. 13 and right off the rip you got anywhere from 7 to 8 pounds looks like 12 13 13 13 consistently 13 pounds compared to about 20 with the shield all right so hopefully that gives you an idea of the of the amount of force that it takes with the shield, which is a striker fire gun compared to an internally hammer fire gun, uh, it, it makes quite a bit of difference. Anywhere from seven to eight pounds less on the shield. Now, 
Since we're talking about ease of use, a couple more things we'll talk about are the triggers. So on the Shield EZ, no dingus or anything like that. Again, you have a, a hammer on the inside of the slide. Reset. It's a very consistent trigger pull. What I found with the original shield quite often is I would hit that false reset. Um, this one happened to me a lot. I know a lot of y'all said it never happened with yours. Um, they cleaned that up in the M2.0. So the M2.0 has a really good trigger, but this one, it feels a little bit heavier. We've done a bunch of reviews on these guns, but again, this trigger is not bad. A little bit, you know, if I compare these two triggers, I'd say this one's a little bit better, but if I compare a, a new M2.0 trigger to this one, uh, the new M2.0 trigger, I think, is a better trigger than the Shield EZ, but both of them have pretty decent triggers. I don't think there would be anything that would that would swing me one way or the other. Uh, and, and the last thing that we're going to talk about ease of use wise is the smaller you get with these firearms, the, the harder it's going to be to load these mags. They have to have really stiff springs in them uh, in order for the gun to work properly. With the Shield 9 EZ, they give you these little uh, follower, little grips or whatever they call them. Uh, but it just makes loading the magazine a little bit easier as well. So I'd say all the way around, uh, we've pretty much determined that this gun is easier to use than the original Shield. Now you see I have a holster here and the whole reason I wanted to show that is because of its size, it's going to be a little bit harder to carry. Okay, that half inch, the little bit more weight, uh, it's, it, it just is, you know, it's just the way it is. But I think for a lot of people, especially uh, maybe older shooters, uh, female shooters, uh, people with weaker dexterity in their hands, for whatever reason, not all female shooters, obviously, Miss Techshot can handle either one of these firearms and be just fine. But, you know, some females can't. Some men may not be able to pull the slide back. You know, older men, whatever the case may be, it doesn't matter. Uh, these firearms... One of these two could suit your needs. Just keep in mind with the EZ, it's going to be a little bit more weight and a little bit longer in the grip. So, you know, maybe a little bit harder to conceal depending on uh, where you carry on your person. So there you go. There's the Shield EZ and the m p 9 Shield. Definitely the Shield EZ is an easier gun to use. So let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below. We'll see you in the next one. And as always, hold them down.